On the low, on the low, on the low, on the low, on the low. Thank you.
everyone, my name is Notepad Anon and I write games for fun. So what are we working on today? Today we're going to be working on a new project, or a old project you could technically call it, because this is the Omega Men. Uh, Omega Men has been a project from the, the from uh, for a while. Well, that's the best way I can kind of word it. It's been a project for a long while at this point. And it originally started back in, God, it would be 2013 even, where I made my first game. Without the Omega Men, you don't have Sprug. And I played it with my friends, and it was a terrible goddamn system. It was awful. Horrible, even. Uh, I've talked about it a few, oh god, okay, I've talked about it a few times, and, uh, it never, it, it, every, it never gets better every time it gets worse. But... I decided to say, screw it, take my time, I'm going to go back, I'm going to make it back better, I'm going to make it the best I can. As you see, I have my uh, new V-Sona, I don't, I, is that what they're called? V-Sonas? That's the only thing I could really think about. I'll put you in the corner there, fix this up. You think I would know what I'm doing by this point, but the secret is, uh, I don't. I, I, I just kind of wing it and hope for the best, usually. Get, get there. There. Okay, there we go. I, it is a persona. As you can tell. <laughs> but, so, what are we actually doing, doing? That's the, that's the fun, that's the fun part. So, this is... The Omega Men, as of right now, there isn't actually that much here because I wanted to get move on with things as it as it continues. And yeah, yeah, Miss Sir Wolpertinger, you know, you know the Omega Men all those years ago. <laughs> but we have our various bits and pieces here, and for about information, pretty much just the general lore section. I have been getting people to give me, uh, <laughs> thank you, Batata, uh, various organizations, as you can see, we have a couple of them at this point, and I'll see, I'll, I'll leave it up for another few days before I put it in there formally, but things are going pretty solid there. But what is this game exactly? What, what is it? It is a D2000 system. And what is the D2000 system, you may ask? It's a system that uses a D20 and a D100, based off of the Megaversal system by Palladium. If that scares you slightly, and the answer is, it's supposed to, because Palladium is huge. Palladium's a big game. Palladium is a massive company with, actually not really that massive, but just a lot of games under their belts. And their main system, the Megaversal system, is... Holy crap, extensive. <laughs> it is uh, very extensive in more ways than one, meaning that there are a lot of points and a lot of skills and a lot of abilities that I had to go through in more ways than one. These are these are the cut down skills to give you an idea. Uh, as you can tell, there are a few of them and there are going to be more. This uh, oh yeah, we how can we get the uh, ATB skills and all the combat skills and the weapon proficiencies all of which are Unique skills are different in their own ways, but this is the system we're going to be using. And if things go according to plan, if things click together nicely and slot together, what I should be able to do is use this system for a lot of different things. Because it's a, it's a universal system at its core. The biggest issue being that it's a monolithic system written by a man who I think listens to a mad ocelot god as his lord and savior. And possibly he is an avatar of it. I don't know. Kevin Spade is weird. <laughs> Kev is an interesting duck. But we're going to we're going to make it work. Right, folks? We're going to make it work. But what we can do very easily... And let's control C and put you right here. And then fix everything up the way it's supposed to. 
So let's see. Uh, the Omega Men uh, uses the D2000 system. System and is it's played using a full set of dice, D20 and D100 being most common, 3 to 5 players, a game master, and a crippling desire. <laughs> and a. To eat Mothman. To eat Mothman. And it's over. Cryptid community. But I should actually bring up my Demiro. Please load. Please load already. Oh my god, load. This is not Pagarinos. Okay, well, that loads. Alright, so we've got our basic playing the game. And. Let's see, we want to put. We gotta Put these in now. I'm also using Lato, Lato, Lato as the body font just because I think it looks pretty nice. Okay, there we are. So, uh, Omega Man. All right, here we go. So, effectively what the idea is, I'm going to be breaking everything down as much as I can. Uh, in the original draft of things, I had alphas, betas, zetas, I want to believe. I think those were the other three. And they all had different abilities. They all did different things and had different ways of approaching situations. Uh, they are not in anymore. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to focus exclusively on the Omega Men personally and the Omegas uh, by themselves a little bit. Mostly because I felt it was a pro little bit more focused. And focus is good when it comes to these things. But I might add them in later. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to be using this idea right here the cryptid idea is always going to be a pain in the ass to work with uh, overall this game is going to is mostly a game of trying to figure out if this d2000 system this concept of the d2000 works because if it does work Life is good. Life is really good. And I'm going to delete Dungeon Tactics so I never have to see it again. Da, 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 da. I hate. I, I feel nothing but hate sometimes for this goddamn. Okay, I'll delete it later because it's not going to feel like working right now. But, alright. So, we want to work with attributes. And we're going to have to put in... Probably another attribute on top of this. So what we're going to do is... Character creation. Okay, uh, what actually we'll do is... Dossier information, character creation, uh, god, dot. what's an appropriately menacing way to say, hey, this is your name, um, we got character creation for now, character creation, uh, Char the characters are the titular Omega Men. Omega Men. Feature uh, individuals who have um, who have unlocked their Omega Gene. Who unlocked their Omega Gene, allowing them to tap into the human potential. But 
Um, but uh, having a desire to feed, uh, to actually what I should say is to hunt and kill monsters and other unnatural beings. What I can do is I'm going to be putting in another attribute, which is effectively going to be a feral attribute. Which, if you ever are working on that automatic way of thinking, you're going to be rolling feral. Uh, let's see. Kicks your attack to the man. You kill monsters in the mountain. This drive to hunt and kill is only exasperated. Did by their ravenous hunger toward, toward these supernatural creatures. Devouring, devouring them is both satisfying and, and, and addicting. Addicting to, to a Mega Man. Each of Mega Actually, what I can do is we're going to start with attributes. And, well, let's see. How do I want to do this? Yeah, I know. Okay, we'll, we'll roll for attributes right off the bat. Titular Mega Man. Titular. Titular is just a weird word. Like, you don't think it's, like, it's as strange as it is, but... We will need to go three, put you down here, put attribute right here. Base abilities. Their attributes. Their natural, their natural uh, aspects about themselves. Cells that allow them to interact with the world. Oh, this is getting weird. We have three viewers in the chat. This is a new one. Hmm. Welcome, everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. I will answer anything. So let's say we want to put you normal text. Actually, we can probably drop that. Uh, interact with the world. Uh, yeah, I got recommended to put power instead of strength because it's the original one is PS, it's physical strength, which. Sounds like it'll work until you realize you also put physical endurance in there. So power is kind of like power was a compromise. I also realize that these are not in alphabetical order, and that's going to annoy the shit out of me. So that's what I get to do. That's what I get to do later. Reaction speed. Uh, nat reaction speed and natural instincts. Actually, we don't need to put feral in because we have finesse. Unless I change finesse into feral, that wouldn't be the worst idea, actually. We'll give it a cross a little bit better. We'll call it feral. Agility, dexterity. Catch with low, high feral. Low feral. There we go. Does the exact same thing, just changes the name slightly in it. Because if you change the name slightly in it, it gives different context. Bada bing, bada boom. <sighs> mm. Cool, low speeds and getting laughed in the race fairly easily. So let's. You are going to be put there, so this is your initiative spread. 
And then final, our final one is willpower. Willpower is exactly what you think it is. It's going to be important for this game. But, okay. Regardless of... Re, uh, again. Each character will roll... God, how many do we want? 20 being the max, so we want... We'll each roll 3d6. Yeah, we'll do... Each character will roll 3d6 for their base attributes. With certain characters, they're going to be getting a bonus on top of it, depending on your background, which is going to be another part of character creation. Alright. And then... This done, we get to go to skills. way that you are uh skills make up basic knowledge and <laughs> skills make up the basic knowledge and learn information the uh, that's a terrible way of wording that <laughs> oh lord I promise I know what I'm doing. Um, let's see. Skills represent... The learned knowledge and... Knowledge and abilities the character has picked up over the years through... Education, as well as natural talent. Each character has access to... So, all right, bartering. Bartering is pretty simple to pick up. So, but we're gonna say it's going to be, uh, we'll call it a simple skill, and it's going to be specialist. Though you and everyone can learn how to barter, but actually being good at it's a little bit different. Charm is fairly simple to do, however, and it's. Fairly easy to learn, commands, very hard to pull up, pull off, and it's a bit harder to learn. Pretty much what I have to do here, if I zoom in a little bit more, is that every single one of these skills here is going to need a, is going to need to be designated a simple skill, advanced skill, or specialist skill. And then I have to learn how easy it is to learn. Is it easy to learn, hard to learn, or is it specialist? You know, like you, it takes a lot of time to even get a basic concept of it. Because the uh, <laughs> what I can do actually, we want to go to let's just do demolitions disposal. As you can kind of see here, this is literally just safely diffuse unexploded mines, bombs, explosive traps. Which is a base skill of 60, and it, you, every level you gain 3%. That's what I took and did here. So you start at, let's say, for barter, for example, you start at 50%. You roll a D100. If you get under 50, congratulations, you've successfully bartered. However, every level, you're going to get 3% on top of that. So if you're level 2, you're going to have a 56% barter. If you have charm, but you're level 3, you're going to get, drum roll please, 50, you know, 60 barter, because you're going to get one, level one, you're going to get 50, level two, you're going to get 55, level three, you're going to get 60. That's kind of the idea behind things. So, that's what we're having, I'm going to have to assign everything like this. So, deception, I, deception's kind of hard, but it's fairly easy to learn once you pick it up. Diplomacy. 
Hard to do. Hard. Empathy. Empathy is. Put these right here. Ah, uh, God, under duress. Let's call that an advanced skill at 35 and plus 5%. Ability to speak a language. We're going to call that an advanced skill, and it's going to be hard to learn. Performance. Performance is fairly easy, but it's hard to have a good performance. Very different. Public speaking, which is going to be, again, fairly easy if you kind of have a skill in it, but it's hard to master. One of the things is, if you do not pick up a skill in this, you do not have it. You just aren't, you are able to do it, but you're not going to be very good at it. So if I pick up the empathy skill, I have the ability to be empathetic toward other people. If I don't have it, I'm just going to have to make a flat blanket roll, which is usually going to be a lot worse. Worse off and is going to be constant. Your attributes do not change much from your initial piece of attributes. They will not change as much, which actually means I think I'm going to change... change this to 2d6 plus 2 so that would mean 12 14 would be your highest how chaotic do you want this let's ask the consortium Uh, di let's see. Dice rolling for attribute. Dice rolling for attributes. Do you like things broad and wild? Or specific with less, less range? Ask the masses and see what they think. We'll keep it 3d6 for now. Because that's how it's done in in riffs and pull in mega bristle in general. So let's actually I'm gonna post this here so I don't forget about it. So I'm going to inevitably forget about it. Trust me. So oh yeah, I forgot. I have no power skills. Like, those just aren't... <laughs> those just aren't a thing. So, outdoorsmanship. I am an outdoors person, and I've learned to be outdoors. Outdoorsy. And that's kind of... Okay, let's call that 35, but it's also fairly a specialist thing. If you have the ability to survive outdoors, you're going to be doing pretty well. But some characters are going to get a bonus to that, just regardless. A lot of the track and follow others... Kind of a specialist thing, and they're going to get 5% on it. Swimming. Everyone, if you learn how to swim, you're going to be able to learn how to fucking swim. Even though swimming... Alright. Alright, I respect that. High risk, high reward. Yeah, my, my thing is just like... Like, half of me wants to do the 3d6 in that 3 to 18 range. Fucking roll the dice, bitch, and see what you get. The other half of me is like, hmm, maybe we should do some range. Get, some, get a little bit of nuance in there. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But, you know, screw it. Camouflage. Camouflage and it's too difficult, but to do it well is a little bit different. Hunting. Hu hunting's pretty easy if you've learned how to do it. Land navigation. Pretty easy once you learn how to do it. Survival, survive and thrive in the outdoors. Very different. <laughs> Pilot X, which we're going to call it at. What I can do is we're going to put a pilot basic and give them a pilot complex. 
call that an X, basic X. Ability to drive, ability to pilot complex vehicles. In difficult situations. Pilot basic, ability to pilot simple vehicles. In difficult situations. We're going to call this a 35, 3%. Pilot basic is going to be 50 plus 5%. The idea being piloting a yacht is different than piloting a boat, like a dinghy. Very different. There's a different way of approach to things. There's a different... There's a different way of thinking. Piloting a civilian aircraft is different than piloting a jetliner. Alright, that makes sense. Not perfect, but it works. Uh, objects on their person. Fairly simple, but hard to do. A lot of them are going to be 15 and 5. Yeah. Fun fact, but instead of this one, which is going to be 35 plus 3, because it's a specialist skill, Seven. You know what to look for after a while. Gambling. Once you learn, it's, it's hard to pick up, but once you learn the games, it's pretty easy to understand them. And stew. Call that 57. 57 50 at 7%. Because stealth, you know, being sneaky isn't really that complex. However, what value is being sneaky in a lot of situations. Uh, appraisal. Ability to appraise goods and understand value. Um, 35 plus 3%? That sounds appropriate to me. Cooking. Everyone likes cooking. Once you get good at it, you can learn how to cook pretty good. Domestic work. It's fairly simple to pick up. Engineering, not very con <laughs> very complex, very different. Formal science, same thing. Actually, wait a second, it should be specialist skills. general mechanics so that'll be at 50 at 50 at five percent advanced mechanics patch up complex machinery that's going to be 35 at three percent fixing your car fixing airplane engine intelligence gather ability to gather information sources from others Three, five, five. Investigation. Find sequence. Understand problems from a situation. Thirty-five plus seven percent. I, I guess. Uh, literacy, able to read a certain language. Easy ones picked up. You learn it pretty fast once you pick it up, but it's kind of hard to start up. Lore on a certain subject, which we're going to call at 50 at 5%. Now, if I really want to bash myself here, what I do is this. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that, because I, I, uh, detailed subject, which we're going to start at 35 plus 5 percent. I'm going to take out, 
take out loose skills for now. A couple of these, like, I need to change around the names of, because they don't really work, but... Uh, most without full equipment, 20 plus 3%. 35 plus 5%. Plus three percent. Actually, what I can do, let's do five at three percent. It's pretty easy to do first aid once you actually learn first aid. The problem being is that it's not really going to save anyone. While surgery will do another three percent. Hello, phone. How are you? A veterinary will do 35 at 3%. Psychology, 35 at 3%. Actually, complex psychology would be something more like this. Alright, so... Technically, I don't even have to worry about this section. Then we have all our ATB skills and all our combat training skills. So, here's our... I'm going to put these in for now. I will most likely change these, though. And I might put out a bounty on the server, which I probably will put out a bounty on the server. Effectively saying, give skills. Give... Please... Please give squills. You know, let's see what people come up with or what, what skills people are kind of thinking of. Because, uh, yet again, this is the list of potential skills that you have to... That you have to kind of think about. Where... These are dozens of skills, and all of them do something slightly different. Uh, I mean, come on. You you don't want your you don't you, you don't want your breed dog skill. Look, it's li literally literally a breed dog skill. Or you can have let let's see some other completely random ones that I can find that I always love. There is balloon animals. The balloon animals one is pretty astounding. Because it's one of those moments that's like, you have to ask yourself, why is there balloon animal making? And the answer is, there's balloon animal making because Kevin is insane and cares little for us as normal human beings. Stream, why, why are you saying that you're not doing too hot? Thweem, why are you mad? Why are you having a literal stroke? I, I, I don't like that bitrate. Why is that bitrate so low? Yeah, you can see it in real time. Notepad having you're not having fun with this stream. Uh, let's see. We've got all our... And also, I rest assured these these names will change, because I don't really want to bring out cowboy skills yet. Because uh, well, I don't think the world's ready for the advanced cowboy skills. <laughs> or maybe it is, and I'm not, and I'm just not thinking. So okay, we got all our basic skills. I think I already fixed you up. Yeah, yeah, you're already fixed. I already know that. Uh, let's see. Okay, got all our skills. Yeah. Access to... Uh, let me just put this in big, bold letters. 
uh, come back to this section, notepad, you actual fucking retard, holy crap. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> there we go. Now we get to go to our ATB skills. Now, ATB skills are attribute bonus skills. These give you specific attributes. And if we go... I could probably... Uh, skills are broken down into three sections. Learn skills. ATB skills. And combat training. A learned skill is a unique ability that allows the character to know, know about a certain field of study and, ex and excel at it as they grow in power. ATB skills increase the character's base attributes. Combat, finally, combat training. Train, finally, combat training is how skilled a combatant. Combat ant the uh, character is. This may seem like a lot, it's really not. Because one thing I do plan on doing is a lot of the time in. Uh, Palladium games, they have you roll for a lot of things. And what I was going to be doing is I was going to be using the Dead Rain book. Dead Rain's about zombie apocalypses and such. And taking their uh, pretty much background career section, and I'm going to be adapting that. Because the idea behind the Omega Gene is that anyone can technically develop it. Every human being has it inside of us. The problem is it just doesn't trigger in everyone. You have to experience a massive amount of fear caused by a supernatural entity. Now, originally in the way back times, that happened a lot, a lot, that happened all the time, you know. One of the big things being that Beowulf, characters like him, were Omega Men. They were, they had this gene inside of them triggered that allowed them to become more than human. That allowed him to, you know, kill Grendel and allowed him to f do things that normal humans couldn't. He excelled. He went beyond it. However, he was changed by it. He was no longer just Beowulf. He was Beowulf, you know, a legendary hero, and which ultimately led to his death. And so anyone can technically have this. So your background, I was thinking about rolling and being like, yeah, here's your character. Like, yeah, you're a lawyer, and you got ambushed by a vampire in the middle of the night, and now, you know, you barely survived because you fucking flipped the hell out, and you, instead of, you know, going catatonic with fear or dying, you, that little part of your, you know, ancient lizard brain triggered and said, all right, jump on him and rip his throat out with your teeth, and then you did. <laughs> it's just like, ah, yeah, you know, a lawyer by day monster hunter by night <laughs> but less monster hunter and more monster guy fee it pretty much pictured you being guy fieri except going instead of going to flavor town we're going to monster hunter town where we have to eat all the monsters there's a reason why the title card for this game is you know shooting mothman with a fork in his hand <laughs> which uh fun fun behind the scenes fact the fork image is technically my hand, where I literally aggressively held my fork at an angle and took a picture of it with my phone. <laughs> the more you know about your boy notepad. Good old fashioned note lore. Because apparently that's a document somebody has at this point. In-depth note lore. <laughs> I'm like, no, no. This isn't what I want. This is this isn't anything I wanted. Uh, let's see. I will probably also be splitting these up into 
what it does, but you get things like acrobatics, your ability to bend and shift one's body in various ways. As an acrobatics person, yeah, hand reveal. Just wait until I upload my feet pics and have the internet explode. Um, as someone with like acrobatics, you are skilled at doing that. However, acrobatics isn't really a skill that you can like learn in school necessarily. You don't go to school for learning acrobatics. You're you're physically healthier for it though. You gain better fitness, and you gain better finesse, and you go a little get a little faster. Other things can get a lot more useful. Where you get things like, for example, a marathon runner. Uh, the character is taking part in multiple marathons and over high endurance tests of skill, toughening them up. You get one speed and five SDC, which is uh, a name in progress. <laughs> Kevin, please do not sue me. Kevin, please. I have a family. But a lot of these just give you some useful little little things. Uh, did I end up putting in... Did I put in Cran School? I don't think I did put in Cran School, but... I had other ideas like going in like Cram School, which would be like... Uh, uh partook has partook in part has partaked yeah partaked and has partaked in high intensity uh cram schooling cram schooling forcing their educa forcing their educational limits limits which is going to give you like plus one it would be use intelligence right yeah plus one int yeah. plus one int plus one and plus one will it's things like that that's kind of the idea I was going for for a lot of the ATB skills. Like, it's going to increase your attributes, but I am taking punching bag instead of being able to know how to woodwork. I'm taking endurance training over the ability to shoot a gun. That's kind of the back and forth on it. It's useful, do not get me wrong, it's useful to take these abilities. The problem is, is that you're trading in skills and abilities that normally you'd be able to use in other cases into being faster being a bit stronger so it's always kind of that back and forth of what's useful what's not uh let me just make sure we'll f change everything finesse over to fur furl guy ferrari okay so Combat training. Okay, so we need to go to two. Uh, combat training is unique as individual, as only a single a method of combat training can be chosen can be chosen at, at character creation uh, combat advanced combat trainings advanced combat can, can take multiple skill skill categories multiple skills To t can take multiple skills to learn pro learn properly, choose carefully. So, uh, combat training none, it only cost zero skills. Combat training basic one skill. Combat training military two skills. 
Four skills. Four skills. Actually, that'd be three skills. Yeah, okay. So, the idea being, you have no combat ability. You are literally a person who punches people occasionally and hopes for the prey. Oh, give me a second. I have to. I have to show one of the a fellow supporter uh, the the cursed. There we go. This got this map to make sure our our boy Toast here understands that shit's already cursed. So we've moved everything in here, and finally we have our weapon proficiencies, which I still have no fucking clue how to do. Uh, because not again, every every time it does this. Because like here's I <sighs> weapon proficiencies are strange because like there's only you can either go really specific with some, or you don't go specific with them. Because if I can shoot a 9mm handgun, can I shoot a revolver? Yeah. If I can shoot a shotgun, can I shoot a rifle? Nah, that's where things get a little bit complicated. If I can shoot a AK-47, I can shoot a, you know, G-A-R, you know, not G-A-R, a Galil. It's, there's so many different kinds of guns and weapons out there, so it's like, mmm, mmm, mmm. So, yeah, weapon proficiencies are definitely... Actually, wait a second, I forgot. Put weapon proficiencies up here. Uh, into four sections, learn skills. Ah, I'm gonna have to fix these. <laughs> Probably do something. Uh... Combat training is a skill combatant. Finally. How skilled a character is with a certain kind of weapon, allowing them to perform amazing feats with. Yeah, no, these are gonna need to get fixed. Cause that's this is kinda kinda cursed, not gonna lie there, matey. Oh god, I Google. Google sheets. One day you'll work. So next we get to put in and like not endurance and health. So Okay, let's see how cursed things are. Let, let's hit the let's hit the magic button here and okay, that's pretty awful. That's that's pretty terrible. All right, we gotta fix that. <laughs> I'm gonna fix this now. Uh, we'll do learn skills. That means I gotta bring you down to four. ATB skills go down to this. Combat training goes down to three. And then weapon proficiencies would go down to three as well. If it feels like working, please. There we are. Finally, things aren't blowing up in my face. 
What a novel concept. Alright, everything looks good there. Alright. With my... With my copy done. I think we're pretty good on most things. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna I'm gonna head off. I'll call it call it a day here. This is more of an introduction stream than anything to get get everything in place. Everything has been set up. Everything is ready. So right now what I need to do is probably do some more patching up here, get everything written down of how I want to do the Omega Men and such. And figure out how figure out how I want to do this section here as well as skills and see if I can't get additional skills in because I feel like I'm missing a few so more skills the merrier as well so expect that so godspeed good luck hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day if you ever need to get a hold of me feel free to feel free to ask me any questions on my discord if you don't know where that discord is please uh, find it elsewhere you it's it's not hard to find actually and uh, catch y'all on the flip side. I'll see you on Friday. God, it's already.